The competition is almost self-explanatory. Competitors run an obstacle course. The idea in the early rounds is to complete it the fastest. Three, two, one, begin. And advance to the next round. And this is attracting plenty of participants. We want to redefine the whole fitness industry and make it exciting for people to come and work out. We have all these insane obstacles that no one has ever seen before. Rock climbers seem to make the best ninja athletes. They have the hand strength to grip certain holds that seem impossible. Michael Kanakon. I feel like that's probably going to be the one that gets me. <laughs> well, because I, I know like I don't have like a whole lot of arm strength, and especially holding it like that requires a lot of effort, basically. So, but we'll see. If I make it, awesome. But if not, I tried, so that's what matters. <laughs> Everybody in the gym cheers for everyone else. Big bar, man, get the bar. Nice. Well, athletes who train here have an advantage because they're more familiar with these obstacles. There's a feeling of camaraderie as each athlete tests him or herself against the course. Liz Trice only needed to complete the course to move on, so she took her time and wowed the crowd with her strength. I was most worried about that, the campus sure. board up there. Yeah. yeah, so I was just really excited I made it across that one. The top half of the finishers in this tournament will move on to regional competition. Jesse Villarreal, a physical trainer and fisherman from Saco, is no stranger to that. In fact, he made it all the way to the national finals and got some network airtime, which was taped in Las Vegas in September. As a rookie, I came on and I kind of wowed the judges and threw them all off, like, this guy's from Maine, you know, they have nothing up there. I thought they were all just lumberjacks and fishermen, but. Now onto the log grip. Looks like he's Velcroed on there. How'd you do on the show? I did pretty good. Um, completed the regional qualifying, regional finals, and went on to the finals in Vegas with the uh, top 100 athletes. Well, guess what? Dreams do come true. Jesse Villarreal has completed the course in a time of 3.32.70. Another outstanding run from the 21-year-old from Maine. The first round is doable, the second round starts to get tough, and some don't make it all the way through. But Liz wowed them all. Well, I knew that the campus part, climbing, was gonna be really hard. Yeah. And also, my adrenaline really goes up doing any of these things. And yeah. what was nice about this round is you do get to rest in between. Yeah. And I knew that I didn't have enough arm strength to do the whole thing straight through. The third round is so difficult, it isn't even time. Anyone who finishes this course will move to the regional finals. The last obstacle is a warped wall, a signature event in this competition. It is the make or break for many people with the whole gym rocking as competitors go for the top. It's fun watching how those who complete the course come down. Brandon Rubenstein says it's just part of the fun for these ninjas. Yeah, I've always loved obstacle racing, and I think Maine is such a great community of very active people, and we happen to have very long winters, and there's not really any place for both kids and adults to come and get sort of an out-of-the-box workout experience. In the end, just five men made it all the way through. Here they found incredible challenges. The blocking point was the lache bars. Competitors swung bar to bar, with the distance between the bars increasing on each reach. At the end, they had to grab dowels hanging vertically. Almost is not good enough. Oh. Only Nathan Marsanuk was up to the challenge. Rather than try to grab the dowel with both hands, he swung out and grabbed one dowel with one hand, which gave him the leverage he needed to complete the obstacle and win the competition. One of the guys back there gave me a little bit of info that, hey man, you got long arms, you might be able to grab that. So, I reached out and grabbed it, and there it is. That's gonna be a great feeling. Can't beat it, man, unbeatable. Technique, strength, and a lot of training go into this new and growing sport, which makes working out <laughs> fun. Arms are done. <laughs> <laughs>